All right, so we're going to do a little cage baking in this one. And cages are extremely useful for certain situations. So now to get started here, I'm going to export my base object here. And I'm just going to go ahead and export the FBX. Call this um, HP, or excuse me, LP. Selected object, right. And so the rest of this is just floaters, right? They're all just kind of different meshes attached to this. So I'm going to select it all and export this. We'll call this uh, HP. Okay, so that's going to be our high poly. Kind of a cheap way of uh, creating additional details. So do a new substance file. Unreal Engine 4 template 2048. Compute tangent space. Select the low poly here. Okay, click OK. I'll load up like so. We're going to go to Edit, Bake Mesh Maps. And we're going to load in that high poly, which is just the low poly with floaters, right? And so that's set up there like so. And if we go ahead and bake this out, I'll just use 512 for now, but if we bake it, this is what we get. Okay, so we got errors already. And th that's because there's these aren't being um, hit with rays. That's so, Those are ray misses, basically. Uh, but everything's looking about the way it should. So let's go ahead and fix that, potentially. You would bump up max frontal distance, max rear distance, and then we bake again. You'll see now we covered those. It's good to go there, right? Uh, the problem is, is it's now got an issue back here. Is this concave shape, it ends up... Um, Basically, it's inflating the mesh of sorts, and then uh, it starts hitting all kinds of stuff it's not supposed to. And so, this is an issue. You need a cage to fix these kinds of things. And so, we're going to go back to Blender. And so, we're going to take the base, this one, okay, duplicate it, and then right click. I'm going to call this cage. And I'm going to give this a material. So, I'm going to create a new material. Okay. It's new material. We're not actually adjusting all that up there. We're going down to viewport display. And under color, you can change this to whatever color you want. Doesn't really matter. And then bump the alpha down so it becomes transparent like this. Okay. And so this is going to give you a good visual representation of what's going on here. It helps if you also turn on uh, wireframes. So under this menu, wireframe here, assign that to a shortcut or a hotkey. Uh, just right click on the little checkbox to do that, right? And so this is what's what we're going to have as a cage right now. Uh, when we go into edit mode with this cage, if we hit Alt S and we inflate it, this is kind of what Substance is doing behind the scenes there. And so you can see what's happening. Eventually we cover the screws, but in this area, this is all getting jumbled up like so. It's not what we want. And so generally speaking, I like to just uh, hit Alt S and kind of push it out a little bit. It's a little bit of offset, so I know everything is going to, uh, the cage is going to cover everything a little bit. And, but we can go around now and we could select areas and we could pull them out, cover areas that we need to cover. Okay. We're going to do that. Now, we don't have the option necessarily to have symmetry. Okay. And there's a reason why you wouldn't want to edit this thing at all. And that's because you need to preserve the uh, vertex order. Okay. So everything in 3D or every 3D model, uh, when it's written to a file inside of that file, it's going to have like a vertex. And then it's going to list X, Y, Z coordinates and all that fun stuff. It's going to have a list of just vertices. And if that order gets messed up, a lot of bakers won't respect uh, what you're doing. So you actually have to manually adjust all of these. Can't really symmetrize it, which is unfortunate. But you can see if we do Alt S and we scale, we can do two at the same time, though. So that will save you a little bit of headache there. All right, so we just go around and do this real quick. We're just trying to cover everything up. Where we need it to be covered up. Not worrying about the edges too much. You can end up skewing uh, your shading quite a bit, so be careful with what you're doing. These, for example, are you know, uh, pushed out heavily while the edges are not, so these are going to be a little bit more accurate, whereas these will be less accurate. But we can see in here now we have the option to come through here and kind of work this area in particular get this to work the way we want it to work personally i think what i'm going to end up doing here is i'm just going to push this out a little bit like this just till it covers the area that's all i got to do just push it out a little you can see right now it's kind of hard to tell what's going on so sometimes the shading itself can be a little bit weird when you're selecting things right we're going to turn this back a little bit higher perhaps so we can see more color also, 
I'm trying to remember exactly what we need to address here. Um, roughness, I don't think metallic, none of that really should matter. It's, um, trying to think real quick. It's, uh, there's a fix for this. I know there's a fix for it. I just can't think of it, but, and it helps shade it better. It's somewhere in like optic data properties or something. Anyways, we'll make another video about that if I ever find it. So this is going pretty good. As long as everything's covered, it's, it's okay. That's the main point. I'm trying to drive home here. I'm grabbing these faces. Oh. So it looks pretty good. It looks a little weird, but it's not too bad. You try to balance these kinds of things if you want. I find that a lot of times leaving them where they're at works out a little bit better. So Less edits usually seems like it does better. Okay, so we should be able to export this out now. We'll just export cage. And there we go. One tip, if you're going to go to a different baker, Substance Painter doesn't really care about this too much, but other bakers, that vertex order, this triangulate modifier, the way I've been showing all my baking videos, becomes a problem. Okay? They actually, when you export the FBX, the order gets messed up. Substance doesn't seem to care. I don't know why it behaves differently, but something like X normal, it will complain about this. You have to apply the triangulate, which is unfortunate, but that's just how it, it behaves. So. When we come back over here to Substance, we can go to Bake Mesh Maps. We can load up the cage file. Use cage. Load it up. You'll notice we don't have options now for frontal distance or rear distance because we're controlling it with the cage, basically. Okay, so if we bake this, it may have issues still, but if you're careful enough laying it out, you probably won't have any major issues, hopefully. Let's see here. Everything seems to be in order. And not too bad. So now you can do a, a more official bake. You know, do preview bakes. It helps. But uh, before you push anything out, you want to make sure you bump up your settings here. Do a kind of a mid setting. You can bump it up higher than this. Do like a 4K with you know, eight samples or eight times the anti aliasing. Look a lot better. Okay. And there we go. So that is not an issue no more. And these now are okay as well so that's good a little bit of an issue down here perhaps a little oddities I'm not sure about that one there but you do want to analyze your mesh and just kind of make sure double check everything's good edges and shading on everything but there's a little slight discrepancies for simple props it's not such a big deal because you can always just um you could throw a material on this now. The base metal, I guess. Do aluminum. Paint on top. Plastic mat. Do like a dark color. Okay. Do a smart mask. Hopefully this mask has triplanar blending, which it should. Some of these require it, some of them don't. Some have it, some don't. See, that's backwards. Let's flip that. Okay. Invert it. Not too bad. A little bit heavy everywhere, but we're we're in the process of being able to create uh, textures for this thing now, right? Rust or whatever. The smart mask, cavities rust. Okay, so these two don't really really need the tri planner. Change that texture. All right, so you can see it's all working. It looks pretty good. Nothing skewed, so we're good there. When it comes to most of this stuff, so loaders and whatnot. You ever have a question whether you did everything correct or not? You always just check like normals or maybe an occlusion usually is a good one. It tells you if things are wrong. 
All right, yeah, and so that's bacon with a mask in a nutshell. It's it's uh, something you're probably going to use a lot, to be honest. It, it doesn't seem like it at first, but you want more precision and more control. That's how you do it, all right? So I hope this video helped you out, and uh, I'll check you out in the next one. All right, take care.